Hi friends, so I have a Timu haul for you. It's a rather large one, um, mainly craft stuff, but I do have some Halloween and some Christmas things in here as well. So I have everything um, priced of what I paid. Of course, it's Timu. It's like AliExpress or Shein. Like prices are going to change a little bit. Um, and f for some of the dyes, I'll put a picture in the corner so you can see what they'll look like. So let's get started i do have some like containery things i got a pack of these they were 3.99 and they're just little individual little containers like this these are great for sequin mixes um charms anything like that that you either want to store or you want to put together for a swap so i got these i got them in this pale pink i think that they did come in other colors I can't remember. There's probably a reason why I got pink. Probably because I thought that it can go with any season, even Halloween. So it can be Halloween, Christmas. It could be Valentine's Day, anything. So I got pink. I got two of these containers. They were different pricing. I got an orange one just in case I do any kind of orange embellishment box. Um, I don't think there's a swap open for one yet, but if there is, let me know. I would love to do one. Um, this one was $1.98 and I got a pink one that was $1.38. And the reason I got these, I know everybody loves the Dollar Tree ones, but I have not been able to find them for the life of me for so long. So I wanted these ones because it does have the dividers. Not all of them. Some of them are, are, are um, stationary but some of them you can take out so that you can put slightly larger things in there than the, the little square so i like having that option so pink and orange i also got a little pack of these um these were 78 cents and this was for like those little nail charms or anything like that anything that's tiny that i wanted to put be able to put in a little individual case let's see if they close oh they do you just have to but um something that doesn't take up a lot of room um but it's just little you know i'm not quite sure but i will use this or something I, that that was my thought was like little nail charms that come in little bags but i like containers um i find that they're they're a little easier to store so there it goes I did get a mushroom punch or happy planner punch. I don't have one of these. This one was $12.68. So this was the most expensive thing I bought. And this is like a little guide. Let's see if I can't find a little piece of paper to punch. don't like that you can't see it but I guess that is what um it does have a little arrow right there but I'm guessing that's what the guide is for so I guess you put it in all the way look at that and I even have a, this right here that I can try it out in yeah perfect so there's that like I said that, that was $12.68 most expensive thing I bought Um, another container is one for diamond dots. These were, this one was $1.97, but I got this again to do mini embellishment box so that I can fill each one of these and create a sleeve, belly band, anything like that that these can slide into. Um, probably fill them with flowers or charms or something like that. I've been really into making the little flowers lately. So that is my inspiration for that. Let's see, I got so much random stuff. I got these herb scissors, 368. Um, and I got them for crafting, of course, to either cut crepe paper or 
paper and make it into tassels, you know, something like that. It comes with like a little cleaning brush. They're not as heavy as I thought, which is kind of good because I don't like when things are too heavy. Let's try it out. It does kind of give a little bit of a jagged edge. I don't know if you can see that or not. Oh, let's see, do I have any crepe paper? I actually do have okay. Let's see if I double this up, what it'll be like. Well, it doesn't want to cut through that very well. Let's see if I give it some tension. Hmm. I don't know if I like that. I might play with it a little bit more, but I mean, I think that I'm better off just cutting it with scissors. But I thought that, oh, this would get the job done faster and easier, but um, I don't like the edges that it gives. So this, these might just go in the kitchen. They might just be for herbs. I might clean them and put them in the kitchen. I got some diamond painting finish. I do like diamond painting. This was 323. Um, and I thought that I would try this out as like a, a finish. It didn't say, I assumed that it was like a, a glossy finish. It just gives instructions. Um, but it didn't say, but I liked the this applicator so it can kind of get in to the mix. And it is sealed. So we'll give this a try, see if it works. Um, I usually just use Mod Podge, but um, I just thought that the applicator would be nice. Um, I don't know, we'll try it out. I also got a couple more tools. I got another pair of little tweezers. I love using tweezers, um, especially to grab onto something small when I'm putting glue on it and so forth. So little pair of tweezers. These were 98 cents. Um, some wire snips. These were 217. Um, you know, I have like tool wire snips, but when you're cutting like die cuts, um, I wanted something that had a smaller little piece up here to get into it a little closer than traditional um, wire cutters. So, a pair of those. I mean, we do have some for our 3D printer, but my husband wouldn't let me take those. So, um, I got my own pair. Lots of little charms. I got these little candy charms and they are tiny. These were 98 cents. Um, but I thought that these would be cute for Halloween, um, either as decorations or in a shaker. I think you get purple, pink, orange, and like a minty green. If I can get one of the green ones to turn around. Really don't want to open them up. Oh, there you go. It's like a mint green. So there's those. I got some gummy bear beads. These were $2.24. I didn't want the charms. I wanted a natural bead. So it does have a hole in the center. I don't know if you can see that. Um, they're pretty lightweight. But again, I thought they were cute. These have been in my cart for a while. So I just went ahead and ordered them. I always have like the max limit in my cart at all times. Is anybody else like that? <laughs> I am a cart shopper. Um, it takes a lot for me to like want to spend m money, um, except on certain things. If it's paper or die cuts, they like, I, I want a good deal. Um, but paper, I'll just buy. But anything else related, unless I really need it, I kind of hem and haw and stuff, and I just have stuff in my cart for a long time. So that's just me. Um, I got some more candy charms. These are $1.28. These ones are a little bit bigger. They do have a hole in them, so you can use them as a bead or um, kind of stick them. Excuse me, all the charms. I thought I had more charms. Got some black alphabet beads, black and gold. Again, Halloween. These are only $0.47. Cents. I only got the 100 count because um, I have white ones 
with gold so i thought i'd mix them up or um, i do have some color ones where i can mix in some halloween colors with it, the black so there's that i got these little nail stickers and they're ghost they're $1.97 but i thought that these would be so cute will i use them on my nails most likely not anytime i use these type of stickers on my nails um they just don't last or um it looks clear but once you put them on i don't know i just don't like them but i thought that i would use them as little added on stickers onto embellishments and stuff like that super cute I got some head pins and they are bent. Um, I already did a refund for these. Two twenty four. dollars Most of them are bent up pretty well. I mean, I know I can bend them back, but I hate when bent, like, they just never quite get this shape completely back. You know what I mean? So I did a refund on these, but there are some usable ones. Don't get me wrong. I'll, I'll find something to use with them, but, um... I don't want to put a whole lot of effort and time into making them straight if I shouldn't have to. So those are those. I got another little flower punch. This was a dollar twenty nine. Let's see what I can punch. I just have black right here. Oh, this doesn't wanna. Me, I don't want to punch. Oh, I can't, I can't get it to punch through. Oh, wow, that's a lot, whole lot of effort <laughs> for that little flower. Um, I use this little guy that I got at Hobby Lobby all the time, and I love the little flowers that it creates, and they're about this size. Um, but I wanted just a different shape so I could do, you know, multiple ones of j instead of just you know same shaped one um yeah i don't know about that i'm gonna have to play with it it might have to be thinner paper but i feel like um even vellum it will give me a rough edge because i have to punch so hard so i'm gonna put this aside and play with it and if i don't like it um probably put in a refund even though it's a dollar 29 you know i want to pay for something that's gonna work all right let's get into a whole stack of die cuts Got this happy halloween one with dollar 78 again i'll put pictures of um, the die cuts up in the corner so you can see what they'll look like um, but it does have the lettering and the backing i got some pumpkins these were 248 very cute um, this pack was 449 and i got quite a bit this i think is like a I like the Tim Holtz one, which I do have a couple of his, but um, but I just really liked the ghosties. So it's got quite a bit of stuff with it. I'll try to lay it all out so you can see it. So it comes with quite a bit. I think it was like a 10 piece set. I don't say. I don't know, there's like quite a few pieces in there, but um, very cute. I really liked the ghost. Pretty sure, I don't know if this is Tim Holtz or if it's like a knockoff. Um, but I thought it was cute and I like the ghosties. Gotta get ready for Halloween. Um, I got some candies. These were $2.19. Again, I thought that I could use these for Christmas or Halloween. How is this sealed up? Oh, there it is. So it's like lollipops. Another little round minty candies. Some bows to go with them. Candy canes. So there's that one. I got this little pumpkin bucket and it has little candies as well this one was $2.48 uh, I know the KS Crafts has a new Halloween bucket um, but I liked this one and I liked that it was kind of small and I try not to jump on the trend too much because I know everybody's going to be using the new KS Crafts um, die cuts so I got a couple 
um, coming, but uh, I, I tried to stay, stay away from them a little bit. So there's that one. This one is a Christmas one. This was $1.97. Um, and it's just got like gingerbread, I think, and cookies. I don't know, the picture got me. So whatever, <laughs> again, I'll put the pictures up in the corner of what I thought with these. So this is like a heart cookie with some drippings, gingerbread man, Santa Claus. Oh, these are for the gingerbread man. Very cute. more Halloween. This one has another Santa Claus one in it, so I wasn't sure if I wanted to get it, but I liked the cupcake. Again, it has more candies, so I can use these for Halloween. I don't have to use them for just for Christmas, so this one was $2.11. I got a little tassel. This was $1.61. Yeah, there's a little guy, but I thought it was cute. I want to work on more paper tassels instead of like threaded tassels. So very cute. Next, I have like four sets of alphabets because I needed more alphabets in my die collection. So these were two forty eight, and these are like. Uh, cane dies um they don't come with like the backing so it's just this one um but that's okay so i got those i got these ones these ones are 214 these have been in my cart for a while i've been eyeing them and they'll go out of stock and they'll come back in so they came back into stock so i grabbed those were 215 these were they're just like some stitched alphabet but i liked those these ones were four four sorry 498 um but they do have the numbers as well and they're a little bit taller and they do have some stitching on there as well i do have some like sizzix ones i think i just have one set of alphabets but they're on the, the larger side so i wanted more alphabets what else do I have in the bucket? I have this little like bottle mold. This is a dollar ninety eight. Um, I thought I could make some like potion bottles with these using some clay, some foam clay, so they won't be too heavy. So that's why I got this. Let's see if it works. I got some little ribbon clips, clamper things. <laughs> these are $1.47. I have every color of the rainbow, but I don't have a whole lot of these gold ones. I only had a couple of the size left, so grab more of those. Oh, this is another little mold thing. This was a dollar ninety or sorry, dollar seventy-nine. And this is actually for nails. Oh, I don't think I'm gonna get it out. But look at this. So it's a little alphabet, but I thought that I could use these for like in a shaker. So if I want little alphabets or little words or letters in a shaker that I could use this. That's, that's my thought anyway. I also got some more nail molds. These were a dollar, sorry, a dollar. 648. These are on the expensive side, but I, there's like three or four of them in here. Let's see. So most of them are flowers, but again, I thought that since they are rather flat and they're small, that I can make st stuffer shakers. Um, it's like a seashell and some flowers. more flowers and that I could you know make whatever the flowers whatever color I wanted so 
So there's those. There was five molds in there, so just over a dollar a mold. Got these little flower tassels, dollar forty-eight. And I just got the mixed lot. Um, I I think that you can get them in individual colors if you want. Um, but yeah, it's just like a little flower tassel charm. But I thought they were cute. A good variety of colors. I got some pumpkin cat charms. These were $3.99. These were a little bit more on the expensive side. Um, but there's quite a few in here. I don't remember how much were in the lot. But that's what it looks like. They do have multiple different colors. I just got this one. This one looked the most Halloween to me, and I didn't want orange in case I wanted to do any kind of pastelloween or traditional Halloween. I thought purple and black would be good for either one, so that's why I got those. I got two packs of these little skeletons, and I love them. They are 98 cents. You only get four, but they are the cutest things ever. how cute those guys are love them they're cute so I got two packs of those I got these Halloween candy charms I seen somebody else haul these um these have been in my cart for a little bit but I got them anyway I wanted one of each color out so you got a little pumpkin one you got a black one and then you got a purple one with a ghosty. And these are just flat back resin. Oops. I'll get the highlighter. I got some popsicle charms. I do have one more um, summer themed uh, swap to do. They're just kind of like purple, pink, and yellow. They are flat on the back, but I thought that I could make a mold out of these and that way I could make them whatever color I want. So I might experiment with those. So I could make like black ones for Halloween if I wanted to. Nope, there's one more die cutting here. There's a flower die, $1.98. Can't have too many flowers. No. These I got to go in the center of some flowers. I'm not quite sure if they'll work out. They're a little bit bigger than I thought, but they were only 98 cents a piece. So I have this bundle in all different colors, but they're a little bigger than I thought. But I, like if you think about it, I think like for this flower, it might be too big. But I don't know. And I got this one. It's slightly different. It's a little smaller and it's um, rounded like a rounded pearl instead of faceted in the center. So I got this pack. And then I got these ones as well. They're just like little faceted gems. I got the assorted packs. So I had multiple different colors to see if I liked them or not. So there's those. This was two thirty-eight. This is a purple sequin mix. Again, I was kind of thinking like, yeah, you know, kind of Halloween-ish because I can go pastelli or traditional by throwing in some greens and oranges or pinks and pale orange. But it's got little candy bits. It's got hearts and it's got little jimmies. I thought that, that was pretty. I got some black flat back rhinestones. These were $1.98, but they are tiny, and I wanted some tiny ones again for shakers and embellishments. I do have some black ones, but they are, uh, I think the smallest size I have is like the larger one in this pack, so I wanted some little guys. I got these. These were a dollar forty-nine, and they kind of look like dewdrops. I 
don't know if you can see that, but they're kind of like a, a clear drop with a color on the bottom. And they have multiple different sizes. And I got a pair of those. Oh, clear ones too, $1.79 for just like some AB Air Destiny clear ones. Then I got these caviar beads, which are a lot smaller than I thought. I mean, I do have some caviar beads, but these are a lot smaller. These ones are $1.97. Look how small these little guys are. So tiny. It's like tinier than a fish row. But I got pink, again, for shakers and stuff like that. So there's that. I got these little life preservers. These were $1.98. I just thought that these were so cute. So you got the smaller one and the larger one. Again, I know summer's coming to an end, but there's always next year. And if I don't get stuff, sometimes it doesn't come back. What else do I have What's in here? These were 37 cents. Oh, these are just some threaders, some needle threaders. And they're just tiny, tiny little guys. I get five of them, I think, for 37 cents. Yeah. I'm always losing these, so. I got some straws. I got some Halloween straws for ones. And I love putting these together and um, gifting them and stuff like that. So I got these. These ones were $3.29, but I think there's a 100 of them in here. Quite a bit. And I got these really pretty pink iridescent these were 90 dollar uh, 98 just thought those were super pretty um i got some cricket blades we're gonna try these out um these are 348 just when you're cutting paper you, i i tend to go through quite quite a bit of them so we'll try them out they look legit they feel like the other ones so We'll give her a go. We'll try them out. They had good reviews, so. Um, these were 98 cents. Again, just some colorful little, what are they called? Like bead chains. Um, I wanted these for those, um, the keychain dies, the KS Crafts uh, keychain dies. And I thought that these would be great for them. And they're nice and small, but they're all different colors. So that's why I grabbed those. Um, I got some gold lobster claws. These were 88 cents. I just needed more gold. I use more gold than I do silver. I do have like gold, silver. I think I have bronze and I have like gunmetal ones, but I tend to use the gold the most. So I got more of those. I got some pink little tassels. These were 98 cents. These are 268. These are just summer charms. I think it's just a variety of summer charms. A whole bunch of just randomness. Again, I only have like one more summer swap to do, but not all of them. Look at these like little wine guys. Don't have to be summer. But, again, if I don't order stuff, I'll, I, I'll, I won't have them. So, and then I'll have to order it again next year and I'll be behind the boat. So, I'm trying to get ahead a little bit um, with some of my stuff and kind of ordering out of season. That's why I have a, getting Halloween right now. Uh, swaps are already starting anyway. Um, but I have a few Christmas things in here as well. Oh, I got these. These were $2.60. These are little bathing suit charms, and they are so cute. They're little bikini charms. These are just adorable. I love those. And they come, what kind of colors do we have? Black, pink, blue, and red, and white. It's very cute. Mm -hmm. And I have some larger little colorful jump rings again for the keychain charms, keychain charms or shakers. Is that's kind of what I was thinking? So kind of hand in hand with these. Um, 
I needed some just some bigger bigger loops than what I have so there's that this is a, just a white pen this is to fill in for resin like into the little cracks of resin that you're doing um kind of hard to explain <clears throat> but that's what it's for it's just a white um paint pen basically but it's a really thin needle so you can get into the little cracks this was only 70 cents by the way so it's a really fine tip so you can get in there and there's that i think that is everything i got yeah i don't see anything else i think that is everything um a random <laughs> large haul like i said i i thought i'd put an order it's been a it's been a minute since I've done a Timu order, but there was a few things I wanted. I wanted some of these uh, Christmas dies before they went out of stock. I had more Halloween ones in there, but those went out of stock pretty fast as well. So there's a few more that I might get. Like I said, I have some Chaos Crafts ones for the season coming. And I don't know. I think that might be just kind of it for the season. And then... Um, Maybe I'll get them before next year. Again, I I know that I'm kind of like a season behind on some of them. But again, I think that everybody uses them right away. So I, I kind of like to mix it up. I don't want to put out what everybody else is putting out type of thing. Anyway, those are my thoughts. This is my Timu haul. If you have any questions, let me know. I'll link whatever I can down below. And I'll insert pictures of anything that might need more explaining or so you can better see what I'm talking about. But until next time, I'll talk to you later. Bye.